What are the key issues for integrating this technology into your course? One of the key issues is that it's just, uh, embedding it into assessment. Um, I think that's fundamental. Uh, because students and staff uh, put an awful lot of work into these blogs, either writing them or commenting on them, um, and staying engaged with them. So it would not be, uh, I don't believe you'd get the uptake or the seriousness from b both parties if it wasn't uh, an assessed, uh, deliverable uh, part of the criteria for um, the course completion. Other key issues are we did a project last year where we didn't uh, use mobile blogging in the sense of we didn't use um, uh, small handheld uh, um, blogging devices like uh, Nokia's Nokia N95s or uh, Apple iPhones, excuse me, <coughs> but we used um, computers, laptops or desktops, and we asked the students to, to blog. The uptake was different. Um, it was confined to the studio, so students would come in and they would blog in the studio. So mobile blogging has um, uh, has changed the nature and the engagement level uh, with blogging and uh, with two technologies. So a uh, key issue again therefore would be the provision uh, of uh, handheld devices rather than relying on the web webcams and uh, laptops. So integration there, uh, we are better integrated this year than last year. Um, also uh, staff understanding what to do. It's very difficult to integrate something into um, a course if the staff aren't aware of what these uh, what Web2 technologies can actually provide and what they can do. So staff have had to undertake a learning process as have students. Interestingly enough, the students have had to learn an awful lot. I uh, assumed uh, wrongly that they would know more about blogging uh, and uh, Web2 well, technologies than they actually did, which was surprising. Question four. In what way has your teaching approach changed by using these tools? Well, I think I've touched on some of that um, in answering the other questions. Certainly about... Um, there being uh, learning on the move and the traditional walls have been uh, broken down to some degree. Um, my teaching approach has changed in the sense that um, I'm very, um, uh, what would I say, uh, tolerant of uh, students using uh, technology in the studio. Uh, I'm very um, tolerant of students not being in the studio. Uh, when uh, in the past I would have expected them to be there otherwise they couldn't have been interacting with me or with the other with the other staff members um, I've um, in a in, in a week where I might have had a six hour studio session um, my teaching approach um, in some weeks will change to being a three hour studio session and a three hour checking out everybody's blog session that was necessary because the standard way, uh, standard uh, what I might call the traditional way of uh, spending time in the studio and then going away and not coming back until the next studio session has changed to being almost on call um, during the whole of the working day and sometimes in the evenings and sometimes at the weekends because uh, being involved in these blogs becomes quite addictive. So to counteract the, the, the kind of uh, after hours work which some staff members are resistant to, and, stump, and, and in, in lots of cases should be. The interesting thing is that uh, now, if you can, um, you can, you can actually check out the le uh, using an aggregator uh, such as um, uh, Google Reader or Newsgator. You can actually check up on the st on the students' posts um, from uh, your office or from a cafe or or from a corner of the studio. Uh, when students aren't actually uh, in the same space as you. So the level of delivery, the, the hours involved in face-to-face -face delivery have changed uh, quite significantly. Uh, all in all, I would say uh, it's a fantastic uh, um, experiment that we've carried out. Um, it has major repercussions for the future. I think some of them need to be worked through because they're problematic, but in general, I would say 75-80% uh, is good change 
and uh, we're looking forward very much, or I'm looking forward very much to uh, continuing the learning process and seeing how we can reshape the, uh, the face of, um, of um, studio art and design um, education, teaching, delivery.